Uh, Ladan. This is Ladan's brain and this is Lale. And this shows how they lie side by side within the skull cavity. So when we do the surgery, the uh, plane of separation between the two brains is fairly uh, straightforward. Uh, both could die from the surgery. Both could be vegetative. Um, one could die. Um, the other might be severely disabled uh, or even vegetative. So those are all the permutations and therefore I think they would have a one in six chance of a good outcome. They, they have, they're prepared to accept it, you know, we've spent, you know, the process of counselling them has explored all these case scenarios. Uh, we have tried our hardest to convince them not to do the surgery, believe me. Uh, the easiest thing would be to walk away from this for me and for, for the team. But um, they are prepared to pay the ultimate price, which is with their lives, you know, losing their twin. And that tells you the level of determination. At the moment, they are pretty upbeat because they've looked uh, very hard over the last six years for a team of doctors that would do surgery. And they've been, you know, rejected, turned away from and discouraged from, from many centres. Um, so, the, you know, when they were told that we're going ahead uh, next month, uh, they were very elated. They were very happy. It's something we can't imagine. It is something uh, that we can only um, try and empathize with, uh, things we take for granted. Um, you know, we can walk down the street and people don't stare and make fun of us. Uh, we can go and buy nice clothes and go for a nice meal in a restaurant and, and appreciate, you know, all these little things which they don't have. Um, and their personalities, you see, are different too. One of them enjoys uh, cold temperatures. So she's always fighting to have the air conditioning in the room down. The other one likes it warm. You know, it's, it's this constant tugging. Uh, I mean, true, they learn to live with each other, likes and dislikes. Um, but I think they've come to a point where they've probably felt they don't want to put up with it anymore and they want to try and be their own individuals.